Hello there viewers, for this particular topic, there are many ways on how to solve but the most common way on how to solve is by using the number line technique. But number line technique have a lot of nuance and tricks, you need to know all of them. And just a little bit changing of the question, then you might even lose your marks. So I highly recommend give it a try, this is what I call the table technique. I've included four examples for this with all varieties of questions. Because this topic is very difficult and there's a lot of tricks. Alright, give it a try, have it a go and then choose which way you find it comfortable for you in the exams. Okay? Okay, hello there viewers. So let's try this topic which I call fraction inequalities, which is for me personally This is one of the hardest topic and the working steps are very long Okay, so let's have a look So let's say this is the most basic form of question where you got yourself as an x ends over here There's an x over there. So there's an x in the numerator And also x as your denominator For this particular type of question you cannot cross multiply this one if it's equal so if I write it something like this then you may cross it the reason why is because you are not sure that x plus 3 is it negative or positive you are not sure for equal it doesn't matter if you cross it but for inequalities if you cross it well if it's negative then you're going to change the sign to the other opposite sides for this but, but we do not know yet whether it's positive or negative so you cannot cross multiply it so the first step for you to do for this topic is to actually bring this one to the left side okay so this is what you will get we want to achieve over here on the right hand side s equals to zero right hand side equals to zero this is what we want to achieve so we actually did it so after you reach over here what you need to do right now is to firstly equalize the denominator which you get yourself into something like this and then you need to simplify it out after simplifying it out you get yourself into this now you got yourself this which is what I call a factorized form as you can see over here x minus 4 x plus 3 is already in factorized form but this course this is the easiest example so we have a look on another hard one so what you want to achieve over here is already the left hand side is in factorized form and the right hand side is equals to zero if you got here then you have reached your factorized form right so this is the part one of the equation now moving on to part two Yes, this is long. One moment before we go in there. So this one right now, the x minus 4, I can rewrite it something like this. x minus 4 equals to 0, so x equals to 4. And x plus 3 is x plus 3 equals to 0, x equals to negative 3. Alright, so we want this 4 and negative 3 values. Why do I want to do it? Now moving on to part 2, you want to do a number line. So we do it this way. We take this... 4 and negative 3, we write it down in number line. So you see here, negative infinity, positive infinity. After you reach there, so you need to write the numbers in between. I mean, this the set in between. So I get myself to like this. For negative infinity until negative 3, negative 3 until 4, 4 until infinity. Okay, do have a look over here. Here, we want an more than. So there's no equal sign of it. So if there's no equal, so it's an open case. Right, so that's why I get myself an open record over here. Okay, infinity will always be an open record. So once you reach there, you need to draw this table. Okay, so on the left hand side over here is what I got all of the factors. And normally I write it down in a such a way of over here is the less two more. Basically, the one with the negative and down here with the positive. Right, so I draw the table according to this rule. Normally, if I'm doing it by myself, then I'll be draw this line until up here. Right, hey, I don't want to reveal all the secret just now. Okay, now you need to choose a number somewhere between of negative infinity until negative 3. You just pick any number in between. Let's say we choose negative 5. Alright, once you choose negative 5, you substitute inside. So negative 5 minus 4, you get us a negative 9, which is a negative case. I just want a negative. Negative 5 plus 3, I get myself a negative 2, so it's a negative number. Okay, so over here, you choose another number between negative 3 until 4. Let's take the easiest number, 0. So you put 0 minus 4, you get yourself a negative 4, negative. 0 plus 3, you get yourself a positive. And then we are done. So finally, 
the number between 4 to infinity will be just choose any number let's have a look on 5 5 minus 4 is positive 5 plus 3 is positive okay, once you reach there what you need to do right now is that you need to multiply so multiply negative negative so we multiply it out negative negative gives us a positive negative positive gives a negative positive positive gives a positive once you reach there so we look back at our equation we want more okay yes. hopefully orange works not so clear so we want more more is positive so which one is the positive it will be these two so our final answers will be in these two sections which we then copy this one negative infinity and the negative 3 union of 4 until infinity you can either leave your answer in this form which is perfectly fine or you can leave your answer in the inequalities form which also perfectly fine so just choose either of these two answers Right, so that's the easiest example so let's have a look one more okay so let's have a look on this particular question which have the same as why i mentioned just now there's an x over up here there's an x over here but for this case there's more x on the right side so what you need to do as how you did just now take the equation on the right and transfer to the left so once you move the equation to the left side you get yourself something like this and as how we did just now we equalize the deno denominator and we might get ourselves into something like this we solve and simplify it out once you get here remember you are not yet done yes the right side we got ourselves equal to zero but the left side as i mentioned just now we want to get ourselves into a factorized form and we can see clearly this one is not yet in factorized form so don't worry just factorize it out until you got yourself into that this this is the factorized form look the equation on the left all of it is in factorized okay so over here we continue as how we did just now x minus 3 equals to 0 x equals to 3 or if you fast enough yes you can do something like this x equals to 2 x equals to 1 and this one over here for those who get confused is x plus 0 equals to 0 so x equals to 0 all right so now let's move to part 2 of the table by taking all these numbers 3 2 1 0 so you put them in the number line and you get yourself like this Okay, so for this particular case, we got ourselves is more and equal. So basically, there's an equal. But there's a little catch. You see here, for the numerator, you can have a close bracket. So for 3 and 2, there's a close bracket over there. I mean, there's a full dot first. But for 1 and 0, for the denominator, well, you cannot make it in equal. It can only have this. For this one over here, for the numerator, yes, you can have the equal sign. But the denominator, you cannot have equal. The reason why you cannot have equal is because if it's equal, you're going to divide by 0. So if x equals to 1, you're going to divide by 0. If x equals to 0, you're going to divide by 0. So for this 0 and 1, we make it open. Okay, so moving on from here. So what we did, we need, now we need to find the set between it. So this case, we got this one, negative infinity, 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, infinity. Realize about this, this one for the open, we got ourselves an open bracket. For the close, we got ourselves a closed bracket. Okay, now we lastly, we draw the table. And remember on the left side over here is all the factors. Which is all the factors that we got over here. And as I mentioned just now, we got ourselves from less to more. You can see I minus 3, minus 2, minus 1 until I get bigger. Okay, remember x here is x plus 0. So now you just choose any number in between of this. Let's say we have um, just between negative and 0. Let's, you can just choose negative 1, not a problem. So negative 1 minus 3, we got ourselves negative. Negative 1 minus 2, we got ourselves negative. Negative 1 minus 1, we got ourselves negative. Negative 1 plus 0, still a negative. Choose any number in between here. Yes, it's a bit of hassle, 0 and 1 choose 0 0.5 0 0.5 minus 3 is negative 0 0.5 minus 2 is negative 0 0.5 minus 1 is still a negative 0 0.5 here is positive choose a number between here let's say 1.5 1.5 minus 3 negative 1.5 minus 2 negative 1.5 plus negative 1 positive 1.5 here positive what about here choose the number in between let's try 2.5 2.5 minus 3 negative 2.5 here 
positive 2.5 minus 2 okay 2.5 minus 1 positive 2.5 positive and now choose any number over here let's try 4 4 minus 3 positive 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 if you write your your factors in the terms of less until more you get yourself into a nice uh, you can see the pyramid over there okay now continue so uh, negative multiply so negative 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 positive here yeah. negative positive negative positive all right now we want to choose our answers back to our final form over here is more than zero more is positive so our answers lies in these three sections so now just copy this three back and union it out you get yourself into something like this yes uh, mostly you leave your answer in this way I don't think you want to leave yourself in inequalities of three places but you can okay so let's try this one still the same case so I'm going to be a bit fast we do, we do the same we transfer this one to the left side and then we go on we solve it and simplify it out but there's a little catch over here because yes this one firstly is still in quadratic and there's quadratic inequalities uh, normally you press your calculator but do take note since there's a negative over this side of uh, your negative x squared you need to change to positive first and how to do that simply times negative one and you got ourselves here and remember once you times your negative one your sign change direction if you forgot to change the direction then you will lose your marks okay once you got here are we done technically we are not because this one is still in the factorized form you can do this one what happened if I press my calculator straight away from here to here if you press your calculator then most likely your sign will change alright so be careful that's why we need to times negative one manually okay once you reach over here which is the factorized form we did as how we did just now so for this one here x equals to negative 3 for this one here x equals to 5 and this one down here x equals to 3 and do take note that this one is a numerator it will be less or equal for this one is deno it's just less remember deno denominator cannot be equals because if I, it becomes equal then I'm going to divide everything by 0 so then you take these three numbers 3, 5, negative 3, 5, 3 and you put it in a number line you get yourself something like this okay negative infinity and infinity don't forget about that one and then we draw this we, we list down the sets between them I'll be quick here oh sorry I missed a little bit since this one the numerator you have equal so negative 3 and 5 negative 3 and 5 and remember your your denominator cannot have equal so it's open that's how I got this one over here it's open bracket okay so then you draw the table remember the left side is all the factors and I highly recommend you do it from less until more where negative 5, negative 3 plus 3 and then you choose any numbers in between somewhere over here let's say negative 5 negative 5 minus 5 negative, negative 5 minus 3 negative, negative 5 plus 3 uh, still a negative now choose a number in between here let's choose 0 negative, negative, positive choose a number here 4 minus uh, yeah, negative 4 minus 3 1 4 plus 3 uh, sorry positive positive okay now choose this one over here just choose any number 7 you can do it 6 can 10 can doesn't matter so 7 minus 5 positive 7 minus 3 positive 7 plus 3 is positive and now you need to multiply all of them once you multiply negative 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 you got yourself a eh? negative positive negative positive okay now here comes a little catch which one should you take okay there's another catch over here if you start at the beginning of the question is more but at the end of the uh, end of our calculation is less which one should you choose you should choose the one that you have changed you should choose the one that you change because uh, it's because you have changed the equation all right 
of a bad analogy, my students once said this, this is girl, this is someone, your partner, your, your loved one say I love you, and this the person has, you know, cheated on you. So, it remains cheated, not going back to the I love you. Unless if he's apologized, then it's times negative one again. Alright, so, yeah, it's a bad analogy, I know. So, you take the one that you have changed the equation. So, it's less. In this case, less is negative. So, over here, the negative. Your answers should be within these two. And that's how you got your answers. And of course, you can also write your answers in inequalities form of this way. Now, moving on to final example. Okay, so for this particular case, I want to show you something. Because we got ourselves in still in this form, we're still quadratic, which is not yet in the fact factorized form so normally people just press your calculator for those for those who do this manually you will see it where you said get, get yourself x minus 2 so most of my students they stop here they said that hey sir the factors is just x minus 2 and i said to them is it logical for you to have only one factor for you to get your quadratic no it's actually x minus 2 squared all right so if you do manually you'll be fine but if calculator, be very careful. It's impossible for you to get x into quadratic. So it's actually x plus 2 squared. But do take note this is a bit special because you want our self in factorized form. This is in, okay. I'm not saying it's wrong. But for some people, they need to get their self into this form. Why? We go that to a second because uh, normally people got stuck that there are only three factors. So your table might be wrong. But technically, there are four factors over here. Okay, we'll see more in a, in a minute. So over here is x equals to negative 2, x equals to negative 2, x equals to 2, x equals to negative 6. And remember this is the this is numerator. Which it need to have the, it need to have the equal sign. This is one the denominator. Just the last sign. Sorry, I got this direction wrong. Okay, so now continuing on on the part two, as you can see I just made things faster for all of us. Well, for this particular case I've mentioned just now, since this is squared, so there's a four factors, I want to stress out there this one x plus two, it comes out twice for the all factors. Okay? And as we have calculated here over here and we want less, so less is positive. Here's the positive that we want. And do take note. So we take these two and this is what we got. But but for this particular case you got yourself a close bracket for both sides. Okay, since the close bracket for both sides is both of them are negative 2, negative 2, you can actually combine it up. So you need to leave your answers in this way for your final form. Either these two will be fine. If you leave your answer in this form, then you will lose your at least one marks for that. Alright, I know it's a long video because it's a very difficult topic. And I give you multiple examples. I hope you'll be fine, and that's all you need for you to trick for you to get your way out from here. Yes, you can solve it by also using the number line technique, but I find that a table technique is simpler for you to understand, and there's less nuance and less calismistic chances. All right, that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching, and please comment, share, like, and subscribe the video.